I am seeing the performers starring Alicia Silverstone and a cast of unknowns. My girlfriend, Alicia Silverstone. She is my girlfriend. You don't know that? I love Henry Winkler. And uh, the next thing I'm supposed to say is I love porn, but I don't think that's going to sound very good when I play it back. I'm a friend of Ari Grainer's, and um, I can't wait to see what she does. I'm a friend and a huge fan of hers. So. I don't want to do the war horse right now. I want to take my husband to sassy stuff. <laughs> is that too personal for our, for our TV? We're Team Tim and in the Amazing Race this season, and um, we actually can't figure out how to tie these ourselves. We, actually, like the kind of like the clip-on ties. Uh, yeah, they usually show. Tie we never actually ourselves. have to tie them. Look at him. He plays Chuck Wood. How can that not be fun to watch? Henry Winkler as Chuck Wood. I'm expecting that the Broadway. Oh my. Okay, I just got a very interesting vision of Cheyenne being very sexy in his little gladiator outfit. Porn has come to Broadway, finally. You know, it's about time. Well, I would be lying if I said I'd never seen it. I don't know, I think it could be done better. I mean, maybe on Broadway it would be done better. I also understand this play is about love and relationships. So it's about more about people with big hearts than big, you know. What's my porn name? Viagra. Isn't that a combination of your dog and your first street? Lee Paradise would be my point. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Mine's Alan Stanford. Pixie Stiletto. Bingo Beaton. Cinnamon Carlin, which is like super weird. Nobody's ever asked me that in public, and I have one. It's Mark Fury. Hello, I'm Mark Fury. The plot is about two young couples on the same night. It is the night of the uh, Academy Awards of the porn industry. And these two couples, very different, they start to lose their way emotionally. And I like to think that my character is the glue that brings them back to center again. Oh, it's a romantic comedy and it's set in the porn world. It's very funny and you'll laugh for an hour and a half straight. Some of the language is so filthy. We say cock a lot. Bonkers. I think that's a really good way of explaining it. The bonkers cursing. Because you know when you bonk your head, sometimes you curse. Hilarious phrases and jokes and ideas that are also character specific and smart, that are really dirty and outrageous on paper, but are infused with such depth and soul. There's some farce elements to it for sure. There's a lot of physical comedy. Um, I have a lot of physical comedy in the show. I'm hurting everywhere. I love doing a show with a bunch of other actors slash comedians who you can trust and you can throw the ball to them and they can throw it back. They are so good, aren't they? They are so good. Alicia, Daniel Breaker, Diane Jackson. You know what, there are like 18 or 19 people who are lying on the floor with no muscle structure because Cheyenne got it all. You have Cheyenne Jackson who is just a machine up there on stage and we have so much fun playing against each other. We're like, we're like Cheech and Chong, revisited. Ari, who plays my wife, is I would say the most talented comedic actress I've ever shared the stage with. And then there is, oh my god, Miss Barber, who I walk on the stage with. And her tits. Wow. Henry Winkler is like the sexiest man alive, still. He's still got it. But then we have Cheyenne Jackson, and then we have Daniel Breaker, and then we have Ari Grainer, and Excuse me. And Lisa Silverstone. My porn name is not that impressive. The porn name is supposed to be... Lucinda McCreary. Socks 12. Yaya Highledge. Conan Meadows. Patches Carpenter. Stiffwood. I'm going to say this is the only big sexy Broadway show, comedy, on Broadway. It's like a gift that dropped from God. Bingo. End of story.